and Happy New Year! It's Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Express New Start Studio Gallery in the backyard with a 16 by 16, well a 16 inch round canvas from Hobby Lobby. And I have been having a ball with the satin enamels from Deco Art. And uh, I'm about to use up the end of this jar after this. In the meantime, basically what I want to do is what I've been doing, which is use my mixture, which is my normal pouring re recipe mixture, that you can find right under, show more under the video, and add some colors. One thing I've been doing is using these straw spoons, which are good to deliver a little paint so I can do a chain pull or something, and um, they help me float a layer of paint on the other paint. So I'm going to find my little spoon rest. There it is. Cool. A spoon rest for a spoon. And uh, continue on with my plan and float things on top of other things. Because when I splooge straight down in and add pressure, I get instant cells. And I, I know I'll get cells anyway. I am not going for any particular color scheme. I'm just sort of flying by the seat of my pants. And I'm learning how much of the, uh, of the white satin enamel to use. And I'm going to try... Oh, don't take that away. I'm going to try and play fast and loose with my deco art um, neon purple, multi-surface neon purple. And I don't know how much I need as far as paint goes, because the 16 inch round is not as big as some other things. I do want some more drama in there, and I think it's going to be purple. I kind of thought it was going to be red. But I kind of like the idea of the purple with the, um, the purple or the Prussian blue. Oh, the Prussian blue makes some nice cells. Oh, well, that's too bad. I grabbed the purple anyway. It doesn't matter. So I'm going to have too much paint, and that just means I'm going to do another painting afterwards. I'm going to use as much of this in a ribbon pour as I can. And I've been having a ball doing it. I am. Yep, I am. I'm going to add the red. It might be might be interesting. And I really want some gold, but I'm afraid that it's going to sink. But I have some to use up, so it shouldn't make any difference. I wonder if I can... Let me shake that up. Yeah, th that's almost gone, so... Let's just put that in there. Everywhere it'll go. And let my spoon drip off. Throw that in the bucket. Actually, suck up some water into it so I have a chance to recycle the bottle. I recycle all my bottles. So I'm going to take my spoon rest and move my bottles out of the way and grab that Prussian blue, throw some of it right on top. If I need other colors, you know me, I'll add them. So let's grab this 16 inch round canvas and I am going to give myself permission to make it black, a black background. You don't have to use the cloud paint, excuse me, you don't have to use the white satin enamel for the background, although it doesn't harm anything, in my opinion, from yesterday when I did five of these, that um, you have a puddle, or a, I guess they call them clouds, a cloud base. I don't not need to worry about covering the canvas in the center, and I'm going to try and use an edge catcher. This is all new to me. It's like, um, it's like starting over. It's, it's just very cool, the effects that you get. And I'm hoping that I can continue on where I left off yesterday getting wonderful effects because I had a really good time and I recommend this. I don't have any idea what I'm going to get. But I do know that I like to just add random shapes. And even rings. I'm going to use it all. Maybe I'm getting better at judging. I'm going to use a Princeton Art Tool Catalyst Spatula to scrape up my cup. I have a bunch of them so I can use them from whatever shape seems right. I want to do other stuff like squeeze other colors right down onto the top of this, but what I found yesterday was that I really liked what was happening. I'm going to throw that in the bucket, am I? Yes, I'm not going to leave anything in there actually. There we go. 
throw both of those things right in the bucket and have a quick look and see if there's anything that I really want. And I'm going to do that there. And just start moving this around. Maybe. That's what I did without an edge catcher to begin with. So I have another dry edge catcher behind me standing by. So if I want to pour things off, I can do that. It's not impressing me like it was yesterday at all. So I may just add some things I like to the mix. Like in I'm not overly sure about my colors, but I do have things I can pour off into if I decide that I want to do that. So let me just grab my edge catcher, put it up here. This is a nice little saucer from Michael's. And I can use any and all of the paint that I drain away if I can get it into a saucer or onto an edge catcher. And I've got good paint coverage over there. I'm going to tap down the base of those drips so it actually covers the canvas. I'm also going to play fast and loose by taking advantage of, and then I'll take the paint off my fingers, taking advantage of the fact that I've got a straw and I want to play. I want to see what happens when I do different things. I'm going to use my basting brush. I promised myself this year I was going to use my basting brush a lot more because it makes great patterns. And not knowing much about the white satin enamel, it means I can make my basting brush marks first and then tilt afterwards. I don't know what cells I'm going to get. I don't know much of anything about this, except for that I'm having fun playing with it. And I'm going to continue until the paint stops moving, letting it flow down and off. But it is messier for me than most anything I've ever done before, so be well aware that if you do this, there's a good chance it will be messy. And wherever you put new paint on, that's where your paint's going to flow because it's heaviest right there. So I'm going to take the paint that's dripping down onto my hand and just allow the edge to get covered by tapping on the very base of that canvas. I'm going to keep wiping my hands off. Looks like a planet, doesn't it? It's a cool planet. Let's see what happens if we go up. Because I do want to try and get some fairly cohesive coverage. And if I don't like it, I'll add colors like I always do and uh, maybe implement tools. I'm not, uh, not super impressed with my color choices yet, but I'm not also not done and I have tools to play with. So now that I've dripped that up there, I'm also going to do the same thing I just did. Just use my finger to fill in those gaps and it makes it look like it happened on purpose, mostly. Yeah, I got some great, my edges are prettier than my canvas right now, but that doesn't mean anything yet until I'm done. I do want to use my paint that I see everywhere, and I can. I can dip that spatula right in and touch it to my edge. And I've got paint almost all the way around. I've got a lot more white than I was expecting. But something about the satin enamels means that the white stays on the surface a lot more, just a lot better in general. Got rid of all my black. I am liking what I'm seeing moving from where I am toward the camera, toward you guys. I'm looking forward to using the paint I have in my saucer too. It's a warmer day than it's been. It's, I like it when it's colder because the paint doesn't move as fast, but uh, it also stays wet a lot longer. I'm not sure that the answer was to put that white in there like I did, but I'm not done and I do have balloons. 
around here somewhere anyway. And I kind of like the idea of the black that I haven't been able to use yet. I'm going to move that edge catcher off. Actually, I'm going to take that paint right off there. I'm going to let myself make a mess. I'm thinking about that balloon, and I really want to use the black, but I think also that the blue is going to be better for that. And where's my balloon? Hello, balloon. Come to me. You know I put you here last night. There we go. That's a very large balloon. But I'm going to go ahead and try the larger balloon based on the fact that um, the larger surface area is going to let me hold the balloon more. That's different. It's a twist of the wrist, but I'm not caring for my uh, my result yet. I'm going to scrape off my balloon on the edge of my dish, which I actually really like doing, and I'm going to grab some gold. I might actually like to grab some of my uh, my other color. I'm going to take the rest of that paint off that balloon, give it a quick wipe, decorate my shirt. Let's make sure that that is... This is my gold mica that I haven't been able to use all last summer because it was just too hot. So a twist of the wrist. And I want to put some chain in there. I just want, to, I just want it to become more like what I have in mind, basically. So far, I'm not getting much of what I want. My eye just keeps getting drawn over to that black, so I think the black is the answer for me right now. And a skewer, I love, I love using my skewers. I just absolutely love, love, love them. I don't know what's going to come of this. It could be just my first uh, stage one, but I think the black is helping me love it more. I still want to use chain because I'm not, I'm, like I said, I'm not overly familiar with what's going to happen with this at all. I wonder if I can get away with some red. It's pretty extreme. I really like what happens when I do it though. You'd think I would be the bravest person in the world about colors because I tend to use so many of them but there are quite a few of them that I just don't uh, I don't have the wherewithal to, to get on with it. Alright, I'm liking that a little better. I think if I blow down into this, or try to, that I might expose some colors and mix some things up at the same time and then drag through. I like the idea of some orange in there and I really don't have much. So I think I'm going to grab, first of all, that copper. do some mark making because I can. I also want some of this dark blue and some of that. Let's make sure it's shaken. Not my favorite colors so far, but I don't give up easily. I'm looking for a mastermind. There it is. I'm looking for that right there. And that's the one I love right now. It's an iridescent orange. And this might be my basting brush extravaganza. 
I also may run out of time because I'm down to a minute and I'm not seeing anything that I'm totally fabulously in love with. So I'm just going to go... I see I don't have any paint over there, so I'm going to let some fall over. I just got rid of some stuff I really liked a lot. But this is an experiment I want to make. And I just want the tip of that chain. I don't want to get rid of much of anything else. And I did just add some strange markings in the center. I don't have any green in there. And I keep getting called to it. got two minutes to tell you guys what I need to tell you and or to finish this. I'm going to throw that chain away and I think I'm going to go give myself some colors I really love and see if I can save this or at least turn it into something I'd like better than what I've got. It's turned into being less about the, uh, the white satin enamel than the composition becoming something I want it to be. And I think it can, you know, if I just do what feels natural to me, which is not always something that feels natural to everyone. And I'm sorry about that. It doesn't work every time, but sometimes it works nicely. I'm not minding what I'm getting right now. I still want some black. And I have other colors in mind, too. It just basically comes down to doing or adding the colors that I love because that will be the improvement I need. And I'm quiet because I haven't figured it all out yet. I've been putting little chains of uh, little dots and then running something through them. Like so. I've got one minute left and I'm thinking there's going to be, it's going to have to be a part two. That thing can come out. And it's sort of turning into something cool right in front of me. I can see all kinds of neat things happening. And you're going to be gone. So please share my videos. And uh, at no idea cost to you, shop my Amazon link. Know that I sell my artwork and my email address is underneath the video. I give classes at the house in Spring Hill. I have Facebook groups, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group for uh, students and Expressionist Art Studio Gallery fans and collectors for fans and collectors. And I'm not hating on this anymore. I wasn't too sure for a minute. I kind of need to torch. I got some other stuff I want to do to it. But I'm having a pretty good time now because I didn't give up. I love you guys. There's almost 85,000 of you for like a month. <laughs> That's good. That's a little textural. I like that. I think we could use a few more of those. And the wind picked it up. But I don't think it hurt anything. I just put another one in there. Right there. I will see you guys in on. Please give me a thumbs up if you wouldn't mind. It helps my standing on YouTube sometimes. <laughs> and uh, I love you guys. Happy New Year. I think I said that already.